Fluctuations in the internal and external environments are constant for living organisms. The body responds to these fluctuations by a process called homeostasis, the process of maintaining a relatively stable internal environment. We will look at fluctuations in blood glucose levels as an example of homeostasis. You are studying for a biology exam, about to review the chapter on cellular respiration, and decide you need a little extra energy. You consume an entire 32-ounce bottle of soda, approximately one liter. Your mid-study snack contained 100 grams of sugar and 400 calories. At first, you might have a burst of energy, but 30 minutes later, you begin to feel lightheaded and can't seem to keep your eyes open or your mind from wandering. What happened? To understand this unexpected result, we'll explore how your metabolism can get out of balance and how your body works to bring it back to normal. The cells of your body are fueled by glucose molecules that travel throughout your body in the bloodstream. Because glucose is so important, your body responds to fluctuations in blood glucose levels to maintain stable levels through homeostasis. After consuming food, the mouth and stomach begin the process of mechanical and chemical digestion. The partially digested food moves from the stomach to the small intestine where larger molecules are further broken down. Smaller molecules, like the monosaccharides, glucose and fructose, are absorbed by the cells lining the intestine. Glucose passes out of the cells and into the interstitial fluid, then into the bloodstream. Once individual glucose molecules move into your bloodstream, your blood glucose level rises rapidly. The high sugar content of the soda causes a spike in blood glucose, triggering a hyperglycemic condition. The pancreas detects an increase in glucose levels in the bloodstream. In response, the beta cells of the pancreatic islets produce and secrete the hormone insulin into the bloodstream. Insulin binds to cell surface receptors and stimulates the transport of glucose into the cells of the body. Because of this rapid increase of insulin in response to the large amount of glucose from the soda, too much glucose is removed from the blood and stored as glycogen inside liver and muscle cells. As a result, your blood is now glucose deficient, a hypoglycemic condition. This low blood glucose level can cause lightheadedness, fatigue, and hunger. In response to glucose deficient blood, the alpha cells of the pancreatic islets will produce and secrete the hormone glucagon. Once glucagon levels rise in the bloodstream, glucagon will diffuse out of the blood and bind to cell surface receptors in the liver, triggering the conversion of glycogen to glucose in liver cells. The stored glucose is released back into the bloodstream until homeostasis has been achieved. Turn back the clock. What would happen if you ate an apple, a handful of pistachios, or some popcorn instead of a liter of soda? The consumption of complex carbohydrates instead of simple sugars, like the ones found in the soda, results in a lower spike in blood glucose. Complex carbohydrates, like those found in healthier snacks, take longer to digest, so glucose is slower to enter the bloodstream. Homeostasis of blood glucose levels is more easily maintained because the drastic changes to glucose concentrations are diminished, without feelings of hunger or fatigue. The hunger experienced during bouts of low blood sugar, in addition to disrupting short-term homeostasis, can be a contributing factor to overeating and long-term problems like obesity. Glucose is also taken up by adipose cells during the spike in blood glucose and can be converted into fat. This, along with exaggerated portion size, sedentary lifestyles, and poor nutritional choices, are contributors to the worldwide obesity epidemic. By consuming more calories from natural sources containing complex carbohydrates, your body can maintain homeostasis of blood glucose levels more effectively.
this can reduce your risk of gaining weight and improve your overall health. It can even help you keep focused while studying for that important biology exam.